Instagram, Facebook. You know me, Mark Morris, creator of 202bedobroke.com. Purpose of the website is to help you as you get older, have more money in your pocket as you grow older. Because I was, if you want to be 50, 40, you can be even 30. Wouldn't you have, a, I'd like to have an extra couple of hundred, maybe just an extra couple of $20 bills in your wallet where you can go to Vons. Hey, can I get it myself, uh, got myself a uh, Vente Empress Cloud Hot Tea. Then I went and got like the little rib holder for me and my girl. Then I got the potato salad and I got a couple of pizzas because I'll be working the next couple of days. So I didn't want to do a whole bunch of shopping. But now I also know I have to get in more in shape because of the holiday. So wouldn't you like to have an extra hundred dollars? You know, just the extra forty cost me. Basically, I think it all cost me about thirty nine dollars. Would you like to do that, man? Would you get an order instead of just say, hey, let me buy the dented fruit. Let me go to Trader Joe's and buy one or two items. I just love seeing people in these luxury cars buy two or three items. I used to be like you. I had a 2007 BMW, man. Those car payments, get that ass. Getting that ass. It, it just hurts, man. I know it. I've been there. And gas is 479 I ended up messing up my fuel pump on my Beamer because I didn't want to spend $5 on a gallon of gas. That was when gas only gas was really just only 359, 389. You maybe hit the Chevron. Who knows that Chevron station 62 and Morongo and in Celia's. Now there'll be a Circle K across from it. He used to ooh wee. I used to try to sleep in the rest area. Then one night he someone fucked that. A big mobile home came by, ripped the bumper off my car. I'm like, damn. This brother can't even sleep in this car, man. All the homeless people, you fucking hit my car. You got all these cars. You're going to try to park your big-ass fucking mobile home here. You can park it in a truck spot. I tell you, man, just shit just happens. That's why. Wouldn't you like to have a little extra money to help you if shit just happens? How about if you... Uh, what is a? How about if you come, come, you try to go to work and you find out that your car battery doesn't work and you say, damn, well, I, can't, I got enough money in my, my account, I can catch an Uber to work. Wouldn't you want to do that, man? That's why I did 202broke.com. That's why I've been at this since 2014 when I lost two, home, two, two duplexes to foreclosure, almost lost my house, in probate court to help with my grandmother's estate, owed almost $94,117 in the student loan. So I said, you know what, back in 2014, I developed this program where I was just like, hey, why don't I just make a video of everything before everyone started doing it? Not no TikTok. I ain't got no Holy Spirit. No, I just want to have some holy money. I'll take care of the spirit. I'll take care of the homeless. If I don't have no motherfucking cash, I can't do either one. So that's why I say go back, look at my videos. For those of you guys who are ready, join my YouTube classic. I'll give you my best 10 10 to 15 videos from back in 2014 when I just started. I was in my house in Yucca Valley. I was living on one acre. I thought I was the Black Baron. Used to go out, watch, look at this beautiful white horse across from me. And then finally, back in 2019, 2018, I was in the Grand Cardone. Yeah, I was just getting too lazy, man. Living on this big acre of land. I was thinking, maybe I'll get a couple of dogs. I'll put a fence around the house. Maybe I'll rebuild the patio. And I said, you know what? If I'm going to do all that shit, man, I might as well just go out and make some more money. And then I moved into apartments, trying to get used to apartment life. Oof. I'll probably end up renting, renting a house or something. Get, there's written land again soon, but maybe in a year or so. Not buying any more cars. I can't buy a car. I can't lease a car until 2023. So all you guys and your Beamers and your Audis, you like to pass me your charge. I hate the charge. Oh, I hate charge. Chargers I hate. What's another one? Camaros, I hate. Mercedes, I hate. Mercedes is a shit car. Mercedes used to be a shit car back in the hood, man. Now they just, ah. That's what shows you the power of promote. People buy, everyone has a Mercedes. A Mercedes is a shit car, man. Just listen to the fucking engine when it's idling. I'm like, what the fuck? Parking next to me. I was like, Beamer is okay, but the problem with the Beamers now is like they had those indicators. They come on all the time. They said, hey, we're we going to get the, get the car cheap, man. We're going to make those lights come on. Shit, if a fly land on the car, lights come on. <laughs> they come in here. If not, we send them to Bob or Tom down the road. I said to a guy today, he's like, well, I, I took it to the second class auto guy. He won't do this for me. He's like, Bro, you ain't got enough money to afford your car. If you can't take it to the dealer. That's what I learned during the final years of my car. If you're taking your car to some fucking secondhand place to change your transmission, get rid of it. 
You're just wasting your money. Wait in two and three days to get your car back. Huh. Tires, okay. If you want them to do an oil change or something, take your expensive car to the dealer. Don't go to Bob. I'm BMW certified. He take, get, did this some type of YouTube course or something. <laughs> uh, I look at, I'm going to look at YouTube, learn how to change my oil filter. <laughs> Good luck, bro. Good luck. He, he want to change the spark plugs. That's just this conversation. You better hope those spark plugs don't break off in there, man. I know how to get it out. Do you? I charge, I charge them a lot of money, man. I'm telling you. That's why I started to owe to be do broke that program, man. My hair's looking good today, man. Brothers are looking good. Using that whitening stuff from Crest. Use the one. Don't use the one that says uh, bright or super. Use the one that has the purple fluid. TV looking good, man. <laughs> okay, man. So... What I'm trying to say is go to 20 to Get some good uh, pay. Let me help you. Sure. Just give me your email, your phone number. Let me show you how to pay off your car loan faster. Let me give you some suggestions to pay off your student loans. For some of you guys who are just obsessed with buying a house. If that student loan's not paid off, Biden ain't going to give you nothing. No, Camilla ain't going to. You know, Camilla ain't going to help you, man. So ain't going to help. Get that loan paid down, man. Let me help you show you some ways to get those credit cards paid off. I'm going to have a B2 broke, 202 B2 broke. The, um, I'm taking a trip to Vegas. We'll have a tournament where we sit there, learn some ways to gamble to make money. Talk to you a little bit about rental property. Some of you guys, I'm going to give me some rental property. Well, if you get you anything under, like I, do, I, do, I agree with Grant, anything under 16 units, do not even touch. In New York, California, I recommend if you can't get up to 20 units, have enough people paying to cover the debt, don't even buy it. You're wasting time. I'm going to rent out my house and sell it. <laughs> you might as well go hang yourself, too. Or start take take up drinking. Drinking or drugs. I know he's going to pay this month. I just know he's going to pay. I used to do it all the time. They'll pay. They'll pay, right? Shit. They don't give a fuck. <laughs> Especially in California with eviction moratorium. Ooh. I'm telling you, man. So if you're going to get in a rental party game, I'll have, I'm going to tell you the truth, man. In the property management, oh, maybe I'll get a third party. Shit, they worse cricks than the motherfucking, uh, you might as well just go get, get the money from the rent or tell her, hey, he's my cousin. I'm just here to collect the rent. Hey, my name's Martin. He's everywhere I can come by and collect the rent. Shit, drop the rent off to me. Can you meet me at, meet me at bus, Best Buy? Just give me the motherfucking money. Give me something, man. I remember I had a real friend or a relative. I wanted her only to pay three hundred fucking dollars a month for the house. Three? Yes, I'm calling you out, sister Flo. I'm calling you out, sister. She's black. I'm calling you out, man. Couldn't even pay three hundred fucking dollars. Drove me around. I drove around for ten or twenty minutes. She's like, "Can I give you eighty dollars?" That's why I say, be a, if you're gonna be, if you're gonna get anything under sixteen, be a slumlord, man. Get that county money, get that section eight money, like they told me at Glendale during the eviction thing. Hey, don't rule out uh, vouchers, aka section eight. Don't rule it out, man. Get that poor people money, man. Get paid. These people at uh, Disneyland, Warner Brothers, if they ain't working, they ain't gonna get you no money. So get that sex with me. Divert, what did they say? Bring some diversity to our community. You know what that means. You know what that means. We all know what that means. Dallas laughed. But they're smart, man. White men said, get that motherfucking money. Fuck. Now, we don't need, you know, I don't care if you got a college degree. I don't care if you're from Stanford. I don't care if you're fucking working. I don't care if you fuck your dog at night. Can you pay the motherfucking rent? Can you pay the motherfucking rent? Say, fuck these motherfuckers. Give me some. No, as they bring that cash. Don't worry. Police will take care of them. Maybe. That'll bug them a little. Just don't, don't mess up my property now. Keep, keep, keep it to the street, man. Keep it to the street. You know, but I'll send them by. I'll work on them. Code enforcement will make me take care of them any damn way, man. I'll have to clap, go, take them. I got them, man. Cops, just come by if I need to, to clean up the mess. That's all I need. But I'm telling you, be a slumlord, man. That's why I started 202bbroke.com. I'm going to tell you the truth about rental property, about investing. Even there, it's tricky. I'll talk to you a little bit about that later. Because in my day, you used to have 5 to 10% interest and stuff that is no longer existing. Go to my website. This month, I'm promoting. I'm going to try to send people to my ClickFunnels site and see how I can expand it. So many people are doing so much stuff. This is what happens when you have a country you don't produce shit anymore. But uh, I'm 53. Yes, I am, Randy. 
I don't have a dog. Let's go to the dog. I just got a plant. At least a plant don't shit. Don't talk. It just sits there. Like, damn. It's like my girlfriend. She be looking good. But I'm the one who be, he's be sitting there quiet. She be saying, bro, you want to get some of this? Sit down, listen. Deliver the goods. Boy, if you want to eat tonight, honey, deliver the goods. I let her do the talking. I bring home the money. She can decide what honey she wants to spend it on, man. That's how I am, man. I ain't stupid, man. Girl, these young girls, they're making the money. What you want? She want a one minute, man. I said, bro, that BBC stuff, that's good for X, X hamster and all that stuff. I just say, I'll go to X hamster, but in real life, I'm working, boy. I'm bringing home the money. That's one a one minute, man. Take care of me, Take like, clean the house, take care of the dog. Maybe do a little bit of that every so often. Buy you some nice heels, kiss my shoes, I'm gonna do that. I love you, baby, but, but I don't need you going to five or 10, 20, 30 minutes. <gasps> it's like, motherfucker, that's the old days now, man. That's some, of these, that's some of these women stuck with these old school husbands. Shit, I don't get rid of your ass. Uh, yes, ma'am. That's how I am now. I'm like, yes, ma'am. They're like, come and eat it up, boy. I will eat that shit up, too. It's like, I do whatever they say, man. So, go to my website, man, 202beautybroke.com. I'm going to give you the real low about being old and making money in America post-COVID. All right, you guys. Got to go. I'm getting too happy listening to myself talk. End up in controversy again. It's okay, man. At least I'm talking about myself. Later.